Hi, I'm Dan Abel, and in this video, we're going to calculate the magnitude of force acting on a moving charge. In a previous video, you learned how to use the right hand rule to find the direction of the magnetic force on a charged particle in a magnetic field. Now you'll learn how to calculate the magnitude of that force using the equation force equals QVB sine theta, where Q is the charge on the particle moving in the field, V is the velocity that it's moving at. B is the field strength, and theta is the angle between the velocity vector and the field vector. So as we're taking the sine of the angle, a particle moving perpendicular to the field will experience a maximum force, while a particle moving parallel to the field will experience no force, as shown in the pictures. Here is an example of how to use this equation to calculate force. Here you're asked to determine the magnetic force experienced by a 2 millicoulomb charge moving into the page at a speed of 10 meters per second through a magnetic field of 4 teslas directed to the right. Since we're looking at magnetic fields, you'll want to make sure to note the directions into the page for the speed and to the right for the field. These are perpendicular to each other and so our angle will be 90 degrees. We'll use our equation QVB sine theta. We'll plug in the values given, remembering to convert millicoulombs to coulombs, 10 to the minus three, and then we'll solve. Sine of 90 is one. That leaves two times four gives us eight as our mantissa, or the number out front of the power of 10. And then 10 to the minus three times 10 gives me 10 to the minus two. Or you can plug directly into your calculator and get a final result of 0 0.08 newtons. Here's another example, this time solving for the strength of the magnetic field B. We're given a negative three millicoulomb charge traveling north with a speed of eight meters per second, experiencing a force of 0 0.02 newtons moving through a magnetic field at an angle of 30 degrees. So we are, we're moving with 30 degrees to the field, so this will be our theta. You'll start again with the magnetic force equation, plug in the values given, collect all the terms in order to get 0 0.02 equals 0 0.012 times the magnetic field strength, and then finally solve by dividing by 0 0.012 to get a total field strength of 1.67 teslas. Just to drive home the point of the importance of the angle, if we were to take this exact same charge and put it through this exact same field, but at an angle of 90 degrees, then we would get double the force. So being at 90 degrees as opposed to 30 degrees makes a big difference in the amount of force that the charge will experience. So the right hand rule together with the magnetic force equation will allow you to calculate both the magnitude and the direction of the force on a charged particle in a magnetic field. 